Swedish Brett, take 42. So I watched this video with PewDiePie where he makes Swedish bread, also known as Knäckebröd. Knäckebröd! Felix's title says that he fails completely, but while he had some issues along the way, he had some delicious crispy bread at the end. Here we go. <laughs> Knäckebröd is easy to make. I'll show you how. You know, get the most out of every ingredient. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you how to make Swedish bread, also known as knäckebröd. Knäckebröd! In Sweden, 85% of every household has knäckebröd in the pantry. In Denmark, we call it knäckebröd. We also eat a lot of it and it's available in every supermarket. It's pretty common to bake it at home too. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. My goal is to show you how to get the most out of every ingredient and I want to teach you how to do that in simple and understandable steps. So join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. We're going to use discard sourdough starter for this recipe. By discard I mean that it grew to its peak and then it deflated uh, so it has no rising power left. Then uh, we'll use some whole grain rye flour also known as dark rye in the states. For a bit more bulk, we'll use some oatmeal. This is the rolled kind. Like my rye bread, I love knäckebröd to have lots of seeds in it. In this bread today, we're adding sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and flax seeds. But you can basically add any kind that you like. The last thing we'll need is salt. It's a very easy recipe. If you'd like to support the channel, please buy some merch, or you can use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Or consider becoming a Patreon, which I'm linking in the card above. Thank you. Those were the words. This is the recipe for Knäckebröd. The recipe, the ingredients, and the amounts are linked in the description and the card above. First put 150 grams of starter in a bowl, then add 50 grams of whole grain rye flour and 7 grams of salt. Then mix it all together. Then add 50 grams of rolled oats and then 200 grams of mixed seeds. I'm using sunflower seeds, flax seeds and pumpkin seeds. Then add some water and mix it together. We're looking for a paste-like consistency, so add more water as needed. Then cover it and leave it to ferment on the kitchen counter for two to three hours. If you don't want to bake when it's done, you can put it in the fridge for up to a week. The flavor will develop. When you're ready to bake, turn the oven on to 180 degrees Celsius, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Use fan assist if you have it. Then it's time to roll the dough. Place the dough in between two sheets of parchment paper. Then roll it as thinly as you can.
Once you've rolled it as far as you can, remove the top parchment paper. And then cut the roll dough into squares. Move the parchment paper to a baking sheet. And when the oven is hot, add the baking sheet to the middle of the oven. Let it bake for 20 minutes, then remove the sheet from the oven and separate the pieces from each other. Put all the pieces back on the sheet and put it back in the oven. Let it bake for another five to 10 minutes until they're golden brown and crispy. Take them out and let them cool on a wire rack until completely cooled. All right, let me show you how I eat these suckers. One with smelly cheese and black currant jam. And one with liver pate. Mm. Oh, this is so good. So, so good. Doesn't that just sound and look amazing? Knäckebröd is very common in the Scandinavian countries. Those include Sweden, Finland, Norway, and Denmark. I hope you're gonna try and make this Swedish bread as it's super delicious and is not really known or eaten outside of the Scandinavian countries. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Knicker, bro! 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 Knicker